Hello, so in this video I'm going to show you how to create um, the issues for your magazine. The sample download which you get has a couple of issues in it in the magazine and here I'm going to show you how we're going to actually create those issues. So if you open the Xcode project which you get in the download, um, you should have here a configuration of POS file here in the supporting files folder and then you'll see um, this is where we configure info, this, um, the data for your app. For your app. So you see here that we have a, um, an issue configuration location. So this is a sample file. It's, it's in a JSON format, um, which is actually easy to understand. And um, this is where we can actually, this is where this app gets all its information from about the issues. So here I'm going to copy that and then um, I'm going to open that file in a, in a text editor here. So here we have um, the information about um, the magazine. So let me just walk you through this and then I'll show you how to customize that. So here we have the title of the magazine. Here in this case this information is not used. It's called, so right now I've just given the title App Design Mag. So then we have keys and values. So the key here is magazine title and the value is a App Design Mag. All right. So each magazine also needs to have a auto renewable subscription, either paid or free. And then here, this is where you're going to have to set that information, in-app purchase ID. And then here, I'm going to give this value, ADV newsstand subscription paid. But um, this information is going to be needed later, but then I'm going to show you um, where you're going to have to set this value in a later video. But for now, I'll just leave it as it is. And then we have an array of issues. So we have the issues key, and then we have two issues here. This is the first list of issues and then this is the second list of issues separated by a comma and for each issue we have a unique ID here in this case it's 001 the title the date of the magazine the date the magazine is, um, the issue is supposed to be published the type of that issue you can either have HTML or PDF right and then um, the link to where the app can download the cover image URL Right. Okay. And then this last item, the content URL, is very important. So this is where we're gonna actually download the contents for your magazine. So you have two options. You have either for the PDF option. So if your if your issue is a if is a is a PDF, you're just gonna give the link to the PDF. So in this case, this is the link to that PDF. Right. And then if your issue is a is in the HTML format, so it's basically a series of HTML files. So what you're going to do is zip up those HTML files and then give the link to that zip file here. So let me copy this and then show you how this looks like. Okay, so I'm going to paste that. So I'm going to download that zip file. Okay, so this is a, a list of um, HTML files that we have in here. So app copy, content and everything. If I open one of those in um, Safari, so this is what you're going to see. Right. So to get this into my magazine, what I'm going to have to do is uh, select all and then basically compress this into a zip file. And then I have this archive.zip here. And then this is the file that I need to upload to a server and then give the link in here. In here. Issue.zip. This can be any name as long as it points to the correct URL. Alright, so if I want to modify this, I can easily modify this and then upload this to a server. So this is the file. I, I, I can easily modify this in the text editor, right? And then upload this to a server. Um, in my case, I'm going to use the forklift app. So this is that file in here. I'm just going to drag that over here and then paste that into my, my, my server. I'm going to click replace. And then we have that information in here. So let's quickly do a sample edit just so you can see how this works. So if I run this app in the simulator, so if I open, um, run that on the iOS simulator. So here you can see that we have two titles here. So we have the magazine December 2013 and then the magazine March 2013. And this information comes from the JSON file in here. So you can see the titles here already. So if I said I wanted the magazine, um, I want to call that June. And then this is gonna be July. I will edit that, save it, and then upload that to my server. 
So basically, I've, I actually have uploaded it to that location. And then if I run this again, you're going to see this has changed to Magazine June 2013 and July 2013.